Hi everyone, it's Chris Hansen here, Senior Solutions Consultant at Adobe, and I'm here to talk to you about the latest update in Premiere Rush, and that is the addition of Pan and Zoom. For those of you that are familiar with the Ken Burns effect, then that's essentially all it is. So let's jump into Rush and have a look at how it works. So here I am in Premiere Rush. I'm just gonna jump straight into a new project. Now the first thing I wanna show you, which is a very good update, is this cog right down here. Now this cog basically lets me start the setup process for a video. So let's click on that and have a look what it is. I can now choose before I even get into my edit, what type of aspect ratio that I would like for this edit. So you can see here I've got 16 by nine, nine by 16, one by one, and of course, four by five. Now these are all relevant for aspect ratios for social channels, things like Instagram, square video, vertical video, and so on. I also have the option here to auto reframe mismatch clips. Now for those of you who are not familiar with auto reframe, basically Rush will identify the subject within the video and automatically track that subject throughout the duration of that video. Now this comes into play when you need to create videos for multiple social channels. So what I'm gonna do here is go through the typical scenario of how I would build out a video. So I'm just gonna click on some images here. Okay, there we have some images selected. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click create. Okay, so Rush has now put that into a timeline for me and this is where I will start to add the pan and zoom effect. So if you have a look up here, you'll notice now that the transitions panel has changed. It's now called the effects panel and transitions live inside that. Don't worry, it hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there. So if I click on that, you'll notice now I've got transitions, I've got pan and zoom, and I've also got auto reframe. So on this scenario, I'm gonna do a pan and zoom. Before I do that, I wanna pan and zoom the whole clip. So I'm just gonna, just gonna click and drag and select all those clips. Now I'm just gonna hit pan and zoom. It's gonna automatically do that. So if I just hit play, and you'll see now how simple that has come across. And that's it, that's the pan and zoom effect. That's all I wanted to show you today, a real quick video. I will be doing another video on auto reframe, so keep an eye out for that. And remember, never stop creating.